Good afternoon, I'm Mallory Brooks. Thanks for joining us for Arkansas Today. Tuesday's presidential debate in Cleveland has been described in a number of ways, but presidential isn't one of them. In their first of three meetings, the two candidates fought, called each other names, and bickered throughout serious issues. Adrian Robbins joins us live now in Cleveland with how the arguing is continuing into today. Adrian. That's right. This morning, President Trump calling Joe Biden Sleepy Joe on Twitter. He also said that last night was a loss for what he's calling the radical left. At the same time, Joe Biden and Trump critics across the country are focusing in on how the president did not disavow white supremacists when asked to do so at last night's debate here in Cleveland. You agreed with Bernie Sanders on a plan. How, uh, folks, this, absolutely folks, agreed do you have any idea that what this clown's doing? Call it Mr. Medic, you Mr. Have Mr. President. Do? Socialized medicine. Mr. Well, President. I'll tell you what. Even moderator Chris Wallace struggled to keep control. No, Can I be honest? It's a very important try to be question. Honest. No, I, I, he I stood up. up. No, I, I, the answer to the question is no. Ukraine, no, I, sir. With a billion sir, dollars, if you that get rid is of absolutely you know what, you're, when, not when you're true. Tape you're doing it. You're going to have tape. true, gentlemen. Is, <laughs> I hate to raise Chris, my voice, but I see it seems to be. Why should I be different than the two of you? Wallace asked Trump if he would disavow right, white supremacists. I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm, it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call him? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists well, and right like me to condemn? White proud supremacists boys. and right proud proud boys. Boys. Stand back and stand by. A debate that will be remembered not for substance, but for lack of style. And, and to end this, button up this segment, I'm going to give you a minute to answer, sir. You have repeatedly well, criticized. Wait, I have to answer his statement. No, I, you have his repeatedly. Statement. Wait, you have repe no, second. you've been talking he back and forth. He made a statement. I'm asking you. I would love to end it. I would love to end it. You know, if you want to switch seats. We, we could very quickly. We could do that. Coming into last night, national polls showed that between 3 and 11 percent of voters are still undecided. Over the next few days, we'll see if anything they saw last night influenced them one way or another. Mallory. Adrian Robbins live. Adrian, thank you so much. Well, taking a look at the reaction from voters, CNN checked with people leaving the debate. They asked about who won and they asked about the tone of the debate, how candidates talked to each other and how the two handled certain issues. 83% of viewers believe the tone was negative. They say it seemed like the candidates just attacked each other. Only 17% of the viewers said the overall tone was positive. And CNN also talked about how the debate made viewers think about the candidates, whether Biden and Trump look better or worse after. Viewers thought Biden looked better and 42% said the debate made President Trump look worse. There was an almost even split between people who say there is no change how the candidates look going into the election.